Hello my beautiful Tauruses, my name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkers.com here to bring you your monthly forecast for February 6th to the 29th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you'd like a personal reading with me, you can go to my website, JenniferWalkers.com or check out the description box below. And remember this is for singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages. This reading, we're gonna do the overall and then I'm going to do uh, advice from the Romance Angels. Also, I'm going to add another advice card as well into that, um, as well as career and finance. And if you guys also want to check out your career and finance, you can be found on this monthly spread as well as the mid-monthly spreads. Okay. All right, so let's jump right in. So what's going on with my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? What's going on with my Taurus's romantic love life for February 20th? February 6th to the 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, that feels good. And with these smaller decks, I apologize. It's gonna get a little bit louder here. What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? What's going on my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Okay. What's going on with my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th. Okay. So in the current situation, Taurus, you could be dealing with another Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn energy with the Page of Pentacles. There's some type of message coming in about a long-term commitment or a new path and pertaining to a new long-term commitment. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is that there? Because of the reason is somebody is sending a message or taking a new path when it comes to long-term commitment because there's an energy of my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do, my back's against the wall, okay? And there's a lot of hurt and pain here with the whip cart energy or something to do with something repetitive about the whole thing. So somebody's like, all right, so either there's a message of like, all right, I want to take this to the next level here. I want, I want to, I want to, um, I see that there's some kind of potential here to take a new path for some kind of long-term commitment. And the reason why that's there is because there's an energy of my hands are tied. There's nothing I can do about this situation. I'm dealing with hurt and pain or something's repetitive about this whole thing. So eights are about putting the work or effort into the situation and one plus one is two, which is the choice. What's the blockage here? Three of pentacles energy. Now you could be working with this person. Maybe that's the blockage because obviously the bear card is there. There may not be courage and strength around the situation. There could be more than one choice or option here with the three of pentacles energy. And something uh, needs to end or stop here or transform here with the death card energy because of loyalty or friendliness here. Okay, so and with some of you, the blockage is because there's more than one choice or option, three of pentacles. With some of you, it's about the fact that there is something going on at work here or something to do with a work card because the three of pentacles is a work card. It's a team environment, okay? And the with the, with the, um, with the bear in there, it's like, uh, that's about strength or courage. So strength and courage around the situation. And the death card represents something that needs to end or stop or something that ended or stopped because of something to do with a friend here with the, with the dog being in there or because of something stopped or ended because of something to do with loyalty or friendliness there. Okay. Um, all right, and for some of you, it's because of uh, possibly more than one choice or option. Maybe more than one choice, more than one person is involved with the situation, and maybe friends could have influenced this, or something ended or stopped because of something to do with loyalty here. Okay, so at the foundation of the matter, Four of Cups energy. So there is more than one choice or option, or things that are being offered are not being accepted. Why? Because. There's a person that's slow walking things. They're trying to decide what they want on the long-term basis here. Why? Because of something to do with a person here, with the person card. Fours are about stability and stableness. Four, uh, two plus eight is nine, 10, around a, a choice, an opportunity, excuse me, not a choice, an opportunity. So what happened in the past? There was a truth, okay? Because justice represents truth. It also represents a just truth or a decision. So some type of decision happened 
because of arguments and disputes with the Five of Wands energy or because of competition. And um, this left someone at a crossroads. All right, so truth happened or truth came out or a decision was made because of arguments and disputes which left someone feeling like, I'm at a crossroads. I need to make a decision, all right? I'm not sure what to do here, okay? So what happened at the, what's going on at the head of the matter? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So it looks to me like there could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, okay? Or it's because you're thinking with your head, you're trying to be intelligent here. You are gathering information because the kings are about information, okay? And they're wise choices, and they're wise decisions based on your intelligence, right? And you're communicating, you're taking control of things using your head. Okay, so why is that there? Because of worry and anxiety with the Knight of Swords energy. So the King of Swords is there because of the Knight of Swords. So you're being intelligent, you're making wise choices, you're using your head over your heart in the situation, you or the person that you're dealing with. And the reason why is because there's a lot of worry and anxiety here. There's a lot of sleepless nights involved with the situation. And it's because of love, obviously, because the heart card's there. So there's a lot of worry and anxiety around love. And um, so uh, the reason is so that this person's decided, okay, I'm gonna be logical here. I'm going to try to think with my head over my heart in this situation because I'm worried about this whole situation around love. I know it's a, that's a very contradicting thing there. All right. So, and nines are about wish fulfillment, obtainment, and two plus four is healing, recovery, or love. So, wow. Okay. So near future guys, ace of cups. So it does look like there's some kind of opportunity of true love or new love here with the ace of cups energy. Wow. And this is going to give you a recognized victory here with Six of Wands energy. And then we got the Fox card energy. For some of you, definitely it's at a job for sure, okay? Um, because the Fox can represent a nine to five job. For some of you, it's because of the fact that you use your intelligence in the situation because the Fox is an intelligence. So it's using your intelligence um, to gather this recognized victory to get this recognized victory you were the other person you were dealing with and there is an opportunity for true love and potential love here ace of cups energy in the situation so that's good that's good it's a near future true love opportunity of love okay and for some of you new love ace of cups energy that's the best card in the deck right so what is going on with your subconscious subconsciously you're feeling like your wishes are fulfilled here you're feeling like there's recovery, there's healing with the judgment card energy because of something to do with a message or a secret around the situation. Or maybe you're gonna send this person a message with the letter card, like a text message. Subconsciously, possibly you're thinking about that. Okay, so what is the influence involved with your romantic love life? Four of Pentacles, you're holding on for a short success there. You're holding on for a short success uh, another four card, which is boredom or something that's being offered that's not being accepted because of an opportunity or success. So you're holding on. So what is four pentacles? It's when someone holds on to a situation, idea, or a person, they're holding on to this whole thing for short success. Even though they know things that are being offered aren't being accepted, they're still going to hold on because they feel like there's success here. There's an opportunity here with this key card energy. That's a positive influence though. So the person that you're dealing with is holding on to you for short success. They want this. They want success. They want an opportunity here with a key card energy. Okay, so what is the hopes and fears? So it looks like you want to speak your truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. <laughs> Clarified by the Queen of Swords again. Speak your truth. And gain some kind of knowledge around the situation. That definitely looks like a hope. And Maybe also you're hoping for a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. All right, so what's the outcome? Queen of Pentacles, a patient energy, a patient energy, and my microphone cord wants to go that way. There's a patient energy here because of the fact that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, there is a contemplation about what do I want on the long-term basis here, Queen of Pentacles. And there is a new opportunity or renewed opportunity with the Ace of Wands energy. 
So it's potential opportunity of passion here or renewed passion here with the Ace of Wands energy. Queen of Pentacles could be standing for Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Queen of Pentacles also is a card of, all right, what do I want to do on a long-term basis? What's going to be the best bet for me? What should I do? Remember, Pentacles are about children and family, long-term commitment. That is a patient energy. It's a nurturing energy. It's also the uh, energy of, of advice. Um, and also I see here in the, in the outcome for you guys is some type of renewed uh, passion or new passion here with the Ace of Wands energy. And then we see a Gemini Libra Aquarius energy, which is the Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords can represent a younger uh, earth sign, doesn't have to be, excuse me, air sign, doesn't have to be. Um, and a uh, Page of Swords in general is about new ideas or new things, okay? It's also about gaining a new perspective around things. It could actually be standing for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it also can be a little bit of an immature energy. So it looks like you have potentially something here around, okay, what do I want to do on a long-term basis? And even something here pertaining to possibly some renewed passion or new passion there, possibly the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there, Taurus. Okay, I'm just going to clarify this. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? This is something to do with your wish and your hope here with the star card energy. Okay. And there is some type of message or some kind of visit here or news here around this, this wish and hope that you have. And why is the Ace of Wands there? The Ace of Wands is there because of Gemini, excuse me, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy making a wise choice when it comes to love around your wish and your hope. And a soulmate card, soulmate connection. So it's something to do with a soulmate connection to a cups energy, which is why the page of swords is there. So let's just kind of go further here. Um, the ship card can represent a foreign love or movement in your romantic love life. And the clover card shows me something to do with that. There's luck here on your side. There is luck on your side. Okay, so let's break this down. So it looks like in the outcome, there's something to do with a wish and a hope and a, making a wise choice when it comes to love around a soulmate connection, a choice towards love. It does look like there is some potential passion here with this person, okay, Ace of Wands. And it does look like there's some type of message coming in or a visit or news coming in, possibly from a foreign love or maybe uh, even through online messages here because the ship card can be something to do with online or uh, foreign, you know, like the internet uh, far away, you know, or a long distance situations going on with you and your love interest or foreign love interest with the ship card energy. But there is luck here. Okay, or this is going to happen quickly or sudden because the clover card can happen also when something happens quickly or sudden. Um, but yeah, but there's some contemplation going on within you. It looks like you're like going to be patient because you're going to think, okay, what do I want on a long-term basis here? But there is an opportunity here and it is around a soulmate connection and there is going to be some news and movement in your situation and luck is on your side with the clover card being there. Okay. So now let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Can I have some advice for my Taurus's romantic love life for February 6th to the 29th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. Is it safe for you to love? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's saying it is safe for you to love. Because this is your soulmate. And what did I say? I saw the soulmate card there. Yep. Two of cups in the outcome there. So Spirit is saying it is safe to love this person because this person is your soulmate. So I'm just going to get one more advice card here from these new ones I have. All they are is literally just words. Okay, so can I have some advice from the Taurus's romantic love life of what they should do about their situation for February 6th to the 29th? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. So it's saying, Spirit is saying you're ready for this. You are ready. All right. Let's work on your career and finance now. Okay. So... 
Can I have some advice for Taurus's career in finance for February 6th to the 29th? Can I have some advice for Taurus's career in finance for February 26th? February 6th to the 29th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. So it says you need to have an abundance mindset this month. Here we go. You need to have an abundance mindset this month. And you'll gain successful funding. For, for those who are waiting for funding, you'll gain successful funding here. As well as... God is your source. Okay. So it does say to me that you guys can manifest what you need here. Okay. As long as you stay positive and you reinforce the messages, don't allow negative thinking to get involved with this. And you can gain successful funding in your situation for those that are looking for that. And know that you have unlimited resources here in the situation that you can manifest what you need this month as far as finances and career. Okay. All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And of course, if you like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. I love you guys so much and have a great month. And let me know in the comments below what's going on with this situation. I love you guys.